What a crazy day yesterday was. For everyone a part of the Sony community, there was uproar. We couldn't play our games. There was major updates that were happening and we were locked out of our systems. I'm here to say right now that 8.0, as crappy as it is, finally is starting to come back online. So if you haven't installed this, this would be a time to because 7.55 will not allow you to play online. We are gonna be looking at a few different features and what a few people in the comments mentioned what you can do because of the whole privacy situation of when and how they're recording us and how well, personally, myself, I feel that that's just kind of weird, kind of creepy, Sony. But besides that, we finally have an operating OS. My name is Mac, here at the MacGyver 7 channel, and today we're going to be looking at the PlayStation 4 Aftermath of 8.0. So hopefully most of you have gotten down to this screen where you can actually see your PlayStation 4 booting in. One of the most popular questions was, what was this theme? Days Gone. You get it when you uh, pre-ordered it. Uh, it was given to me for free. So just if anyone was wondering, that's like one of the cooler things that I have. But getting back to the point. So right now you can go to your friends list. It's going to be pretty friendly sometimes. It's still a little bit slow. It's not as bad as it was yesterday. Like, holy crap. It wouldn't even load or take like minutes. I mean, you see how fast that was natively. I wanted to show that uncut just so people can kind of see. Yes, there is still a slight lag, but this could be their engineers looking at it. Now, for as far as the audio settings, party chat kind of sucks now. I'm just going to be straightforward. There's nothing to beat around the bush with this because it's just quite frankly a little bit horrible when it comes down to the situation of what is happening here. So we're looking at this. So 8.0 and we're here and you're probably wondering how. Um, luckily for me, I had one of my friends on my roster, dear friend, unfortunately is not with us at this point in time, but I was able to utilize Maloran's gaming tag and that legend lives on. So once you enter one person, and that's why I just entered this person because I knew I'd be able to get into it and you'd be able to see the actual physical settings. It's familiar, it looks good again. It's unfortunate that you have to ping over because a lot of people love just being in this by themselves. If you're in a multiplayer and you wanna be able to diversely be able to tune things out and just chat with your friends, it was really great. And the audio quality did definitely increase inside of this section. It just, nowadays you need to actually physically have to have a buddy to trigger it. Um, and it works pretty well uh, for the most part. Now, for as far as party settings, this is what I kind of wanted to point out for as far as what's happening here. And this is where it is one of the more important things allowing your voice to be shared if it is always allowed this includes in other players broadcast and video clips yes people are saying that this is a fix but this is mainly a streaming tool i wanted to point this out because a lot of people are trying to rush to find out if they can turn it off and on what is on is on and what has basically gotten down to a point as we come into more of a let's talk mode inside of this situation and i put the controller up is from what everyone i've gathered up and yes it is creepy that sony is peeking in on us and like quite frankly i don't think it's necessary it's slowing down the system and just quite frankly I love Sony and I hope that they can make amends with the situation and say, you know, hey, look, this is what we really meant to like actually put down because if they intend to basically say this is a tool. So if someone says, hey, this person says a racist slur or this someone says something derogatory or whatever the situation is where someone's like, hey, prove it. Now Sony goes back over and says, OK, now we can see if this person is lying, the troll and or if the person is that's actually at question. So. If that is what is going on and they're trying to bring a diverse way for devs to go back and actually look and see situations, yeah, I don't like it personally myself just because I, I have a party chat that I, you know, I'm doing with myself and my friends and, you know, I'm not saying anything crazy, but it's just like I like to have that seclusion of my own privacy. You know, it's like kind of being in your own house behind your own fence and you're just kind of chilling and relaxing and you're just doing your thing you know it's like there is a nice solitude of tranquility with that that's what i'm getting at and i just don't like the situation of the physical system being bloated but that's enough of me ranting the point that i'm trying to draw to the conclusion is yes sony needs to answer for a lot of things but final 
you can install 8.0. It's a safe bet nowadays besides the situations that you'll have to kind of come into. And if you're a streamer, you're going to have to have that always allowed on because otherwise your broadcast to your voice to your buddies will not be captured unfortunately in a situation like that but that is also maybe that is the triggering point sony just needs to release a little bit more on the fourth right so if you're new to the channel you can like share and subscribe and you'll get more sony news on the update horizon of what is next now for as far as my saying goodbye stay classy stay safe and i'll see you guys and gals in the near future and if you subscribe today who knows maybe just maybe sony will clean up their spilt milk and that would just be a fun topic to actually talk about but i'll see you guys and gals in the near future get out there go game seriously i know a lot of people are probably like really having a bad day so i'm trying to change that today have a good day and seriously go game like it, it'll make you feel better